Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In today's video we're going to be programming a fireworks shoe on Scratch. If you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay so what we're aiming for is when I click on the backdrop then uh, a rocket fires upwards and then it explodes into lots of tiny little stars and this project is very easy and it introduces cloning which we will get into but first let's create the rocket. Go down here to your sprite and then click paint and we need to zoom in because the rocket is going to be quite small so we go down here and I think that's good and then we need to make a line and we want that ideally black so the best way is just to get no brightness at all and then we need to hold shift on their keyboard if we want a straight line and it's going to be vertical just going downwards like that and then after we need a rectangle and this can be any color you want so I just uh, have orange here and uh, you can click no outline for that and then we simply just drag it like that. You don't want to hold shift because that turns it into a square and I think that's okay for now. And then we can get a line and we're going to make a triangle on top. So this can be any color you want. I'm just going to stick to black to save time. So we do it like so. And that is the rocket. If we want to make it a bit more interesting we can maybe add stripes going across it. So I'm just going to choose another color. And I'm just going to go like that. And there we go. That's our rocket complete. And you can make that a bit more interesting. Add more stuff. But I'm just going to um, hurry up and get to the code. So over here um, is the dimensions of the rocket. And it says 6 times 21. And ideally we want 10 times 50. So how we can make that bigger is we click on that. And then we drag a box around it. And then Scratch will select it. And we can just drag one of the corners out. And... We can just make, expand it a bit and it's 9 times 35, probably want it a bit taller so I can adjust the height. There we go, 9 times 49, that's good enough. As long as it's uh, less than 10 times 50, that's perfectly fine. And don't worry if it's small on the backdrop and now let's move on to creating the backdrops. Okay, so we can go down here, um, paint and we're just going to keep a blank backdrop and we can create another one. and. This one um, is going to be our night backdrop. So we can get color here, and I already have a gradient fill, so it's usually like that. But you can go here, um, click gradient fill. Uh, this one or this one, it doesn't matter. Um, and then we have two colors here, and the first is just going to be uh, black, completely black. And the second one we can make a bit more interesting, and we can maybe uh, make it a bit of a bit of gray. So. And what that basically does is one end is going to be grey, then it's going to gradually transition across the backdrop until that's black. And we need to colour it, so it, it's quite hard to colour, so maybe we just need to keep clicking until we, we, we do it. There we go, and that's actually a bit of blue. I, I actually kind of like that, so we're going to keep it. And uh, now we have our night backdrop and this is going to be um, for the flash so we can just leave it blank. Okay so now we're actually going to put code in the rocket so we can click on that and then uh, when green flag clicked and then we want it to hide and then we're going to do a forever lip and then we're going to wait until the mouse is down and that's basically just waiting until it's basically clicked. So wait until a mouse down is found, it's sensing here and then after uh, we need to go to um, a certain coordinate and uh, that is going to be the mouse x and um, it's going to be y minus 180 and minus 180 is the bottom and uh, we need the x position of the mouse and then after we need to show so we can actually see it then we, we can glide to a position so we glide one second and we're going to go mouse x and mouse y and that's where the mouse pointer basically is and then after we do that uh, we can hide again then I'm going to broadcast a message and I'm going to call it bang so new message bang there we go and after um, we need to go when I receive and bang and then we can uh, switch our backdrops that we just made so uh, switch backdrop, uh, so backdrop uh, 1 and then we can wait for just 0 0.1 seconds and then we can switch back to uh, 
the night backdrop, which is backdrop 2. Okay, and now when we test it, so I'm going to go full screen here, and I'm going to press the green flag. When I click, it simply just goes up and the backdrop flashes. And that is the rocket bit complete. Okay, so now we need to make the stars, and to do that, we can go and paint a new sprite. And this time we're going to use a circle, and um, I'm going to zoom in because this is going to be even smaller than uh, the rocket. And then uh, we don't need an outline, and I'm going to do uh, a color, let's say green. And then the whole shift, and we can draw a perfect circle like, like that. And up here it says 12 times 12. Ideally, we want 5 times 5 um, because it, it needs to be small, so we can just adjust the size of it. And that is an 8 times 8, not quite. That's a 6 times 6. 5 times 5, perfect. And now uh, we can start um, coding it. So when green flag clicked, then we want to hide it. And then we want to create um, 300 clones of itself. And a clone is basically um, like a duplicate of it. So um, the maximum um, amount of duplicates a uh, scratch will allow is 300. So that's why we can only do 300 clones. And 300. And then it's down here in control, create clone of myself. And a clone is not another sprite. It, it's, it's, it's just uh, basically you can program it, but it, do, it does not count as another sprite. So create clone of myself. And then we can create a variable. And a variable is found down here. Make a variable. I'm going to call this speed. And this is going to be um, speed of um, the stars. So when I receive bang, and put that to the side so we have a clean workspace, then we can set the speed to a random figure. And that's going to be um, not point 0.1 to 3. Then after we do that, we want to add some effects. So we can set the ghost effect to zero. And the ghost effect is basically like transparency, basically. And then we've got our color effect. And we're going to change it this time by 25. And then after, we want to go to uh, the rocket. So motion, then go to, and then you select. And in this case, it's called sprite one. Perfect. And then we want to point in a, a certain direction. And this is going to be um, random, so the stars just spread out at every direction. So pick random, minus 180 to 180. And then after we do that, we can show, so we can actually see them. And then we want to repeat the following 50 times. And we're going to move some steps. So um, move, and then we need our variable, move speed steps. And then we need to add a second repeat loop at the bottom of this. So it's going to be another repeat 50 times. Then we need to set the speed um, to a certain value. So speed times 0 0.9. And that's just going to slow down the stories a wee bit. So, so they're not as fast. Speed to 0 0.9. Perfect. And then after, um, we need to move speed steps again. I'm just going to duplicate it to make it faster. And then we need to change the ghost effect by a random value. So change uh, effect. We want ghost effect by uh, random one to three. And then after, we want to simply hide. And we can hide the speed variable. Uh, just uh, deselect that tick up there. And now uh, we need to fix something because... Uh, there might be some uh, stars in the line and we don't want that. So uh, what we can do, go here and then we can broadcast a new message and that can be called ready. And then, uh, over, and then over at the rocket sprite, we can simply uh, take that away and then we can go when I receive ready. So that's basically, uh, if we keep spam clicking on it, then uh, uh, that that's just a bug that's going to happen so uh, now we can test this out so we press green flag and then when it comes up it just explodes like that that's perfect what i want there we go and it starts to fade away 
there we go. And that is basically um, the project finished and we can make it a bit more interesting. We can maybe add a sound every time it, it, it explodes or we can probably change the colour of the fireworks instead of being the same each time, so green. So there is a way to do that. So we can go down here and we can go when I receive bang and then we can repeat 100 times and we can just change the colour effect by two. So um, as it goes on then the fireworks starts to change colour just like in real life sometimes. So change colour effect by two. And now when I try that it starts to change colour. Or we can do a random colour. So um, we can take uh, this away and then we can choose a random and it has to be a set colour effect, sorry, so we need to go here and then that can be uh, minus 100 to 100 and that's for basically all the stars so it's completely random, multicoloured and so when we test that there we go, so it's completely random each time, I think that looks nice and uh, I think that is basically um, all you can really really do um, with the fireworks, you can maybe make the backdrop a bit more interesting maybe add some buildings to make it look like a city it's, it's up to you but I'm just going to leave it there for today so uh, thank you so much for watching this video of the scratch coding class I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you soon bye for now